Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the TESSUP Atlas 4.0. It's a vertical axis wind turbine. It's rated to 4 kilowatts and I purchased this to hopefully replace my uh, aging petrol generator. So this is going to be an unboxing video and this will be the, genuinely the first time that I will have opened this box. here um, I'm just gonna gloss over the state of my workshop because there is basically no excuse so let's jump into the video okay so let's open this box up and see what's actually in there uh, hopefully there should be an inverter a charge controller and a wind turbine let's find out okay let's get this lid off and see how this is packed. It seems to be a lot heavier at one end than another. So hopefully I don't cause this box to fall over when I start unpacking it. it seems to be well packed with foam. So hopefully that's a good sign. Uh, looks like we have a turbine shaft. Uh, it looks like the actual shaft itself on the TESSUP uh, vertical axis wind turbine is actually rusty, so perhaps that's been sat around for a while. Never a good sign. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh, it looks like we have the blade edges. Okay, so next up we have what looks like a charge controller. Seems to have some mounting screws with it. And a heat sink on the back. Let's see what that looks like. Open this up. Looks like we have the dump load in the top, ammeter and voltmeter, battery on off, inverter, battery switch, charging current adjust, and looks like the holes line up. Some of the ones that I've seen previously online, these terminals were external for some reason. Um, looks like they've improved that. All in all, it's been well packaged. Doesn't look like there's any damage to it. So, I assume we're going to have to wall mount that. Well off the wall to make sure that there's plenty of space at the back for the heat to rise. But yeah, one charge controller. What else do we have in here? Okay, well, that looks like the top and bottom of the wind turbine. I'm hoping there's an inverter in here because I did pay for one. Uh, 
don't seem to see one. Which is obviously a little bit of a worry. So, I don't know where the inverter is. I paid for a 5 kilowatt grid connected inverter. But that appears to be missing. So I guess I'm going to have to get on to customer services and find out what on earth has happened to my inverter. Okay, so final part of this. If I can get it out, this is very heavy. It's the base for the wind turbine. Huge amount of weight to this. I would say this is a good 20, maybe even 30 kilos by itself. But that is just the base of the wind turbine. It seems to move freely, which is a good sign. So, I guess we wait and see happens when we install it. As I mentioned the uh, inverter appears to be missing. So that's everything that's in the package currently. For watching that video. Another topic that we might cover in the future is battery packs, um, how we take old laptop packs like this and we harvest the cells from them, these 18650s. Uh, quite often these packs have anything from three to nine 18650s in them per pack. So if you're interested in how you safely harvest those, test them and turn them into larger battery packs, then keep following the channel. Okay, so there's plenty more still to come on the channel. Um, Obviously, if you have an interest in these little things and how they become packed like this, then uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can do a deep dive into batteries and building your own 18650 battery packs. This is a 14S 20P pack. Uh, it's about 2.4 kilowatt hours of storage. And this is a pack that I built a few weeks back. It's hopefully gonna be part of the wind turbine setup. Um, and I'll give more details on the wind turbine setup coming soon. Okay, so finally, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's already subscribed to the channel. We're just starting out, so obviously, the more likes and the more subscriptions, the more shares, it's very much appreciated, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.